Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode of uh, True Stam Terra. Um, since last time, wait, I should put the game sound on. Too loud. I like some birds chirping around, so let's keep it there. There you go. Right, so uh, since last time I've been looking around um, around the map and the ledger and uh, England has no more allies so that is quite saddening. I don't know why Portugal stopped being allies with England um, but that is quite a bit of an issue. Considering my truce with England is due in 15 years and my truce with Portugal is due in 4. So theoretically, you know, England stays allied with Portugal and then I can just attack Portugal. Then again, England sank all of my light ships and I need 13 light ships. Let me just check here. I believe I need 13 light ships in order to get 20% trade power. Yeah. Morocco has 15. Negative. Alright, so I need... I think I need 15 trade ships. 15 trade ships would give me 45 trade power. And Morocco has, let's see, what does Morocco have? 15%. I might need a little bit more. But I believe Morocco is collecting from trade. Yeah. So if I transfer from, if I transfer trade, I shouldn't get as many negative modifiers. Because I'm also not being embargoed by Portugal, because that will be retarded. Right. This music's way too loud. There you go. Um, so that's not really an option. And uh, now what we can do is just attack Brittany. And uh, just roll with that. But there's some stuff that we need to take care of. Which are these mercenaries. Which I don't want to pay for. Don't want to pay for my troops. I want to sell meath. Am I already doing this? No. And I want to sell these for as much money as I can. That will help me repay my loans. Um, in return for this, I gain uh, inflation. Quite a bit of inflation, actually. Huh. What happens if I sell you a province? Why isn't this inflation based on my yearly income? Or maybe it is and that's just the minimum amount of inflation you can get. Plus 73. Oh, that's spoils of war. Right. Um... I still want to sell them for money. It's single. It's a single time um, inflation increase, but it will allow me to pay back some of these loans, which are going to bite me in the ass for quite some time. And the real question is, do I want to repay my loans now, or build ships and use them to? have more options to declare war. Hmm. I kinda need the ships. I kinda have to get the ships. Ah. <sighs> well. 
probably should have thought this through a little better before uh, <clears throat> before starting the recording, but I don't know. These subsidies aren't going to last. I'm not going to sit on my ass and repay loans for 20 years. I'd much rather have a few ships that will give me like a lot of possibilities to do stuff. Plus, it'll allow me to keep my power projection up over 50. Because I can just send them to Lubeck and then uh, send them on a privateering mission. That's three loans. Whatever. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a month or two of uh, less Diplo power. And we're going to put our national focus onto this as soon as it's possible. Which it should be in, let's see, 1444. So 25 years after that, okay, it should, shouldn't take too long. Um, I want to cancel this alliance, but I don't want to do it. If that means they join the coalition, or create a coalition. No, they won't join the coalition. <coughs> I only have nine aggressive expansion on them, so. They desire Cornwall. Oh well. Brittany is being really aggressive. What the balls? Yeah, they need to be stopped. Let's get our fleets together, and since we don't have any light ships, there's no reason to pay for our ships either. So, there you go. 75% of my force limit. 16 ships will be around the amount of ships that we need to um, to justify trade conflict down here. I only need 10%. I remember now, this was the same mistake I made when I was doing the, the post-commentary version. You only need 10% of the trade power. Yeah, so we only need, uh, let's see, how much does Aragon have? Aragon has 1%, so we only need 10 ships. 10, maybe, maybe 11 or something. So I don't know if I want to take this. Let's just reduce our overextension by selling our provinces and then we'll find out eventually. Yeah. That was to be expected. Hmm. Are you <coughs> Cumbria? For free, apparently. God damn it. I was a little late on that one. I'm not going to sell um, Nemo City just yet. We need to uh, fabricate a claim on Kent first. Um, when are you finished? It's going to take some time. Now let's see here, we can fabricate a claim on Lancashire, Gwynedd, Glamorgan. 
Kent. Six, four, six, three. In the last war we got a six, seven, three. So that's ten, sixteen, sixteen, twenty-one base stacks. And this is six, three, thirteen, thirteen and nine. That's nineteen base stacks. Oh uh, yeah, I suppose that's fine. Don't want to take up just yet. Oh right, that reminds me, we should... this music is still way too loud. Actually, I'm just gonna lower the volume on my, um, on my headset. Since it's probably not too loud for anyone watching, but I need to hear what's <clears throat> going on outside so that I know when to uh, pause the video. But yeah, that reminds me, I should move this guy. How much money are you making me? Let's see, Scotland, 0.5, yeah. How much are you making me? 0.66. I guess it would make more sense to collect from trade there. And collect from trade here. Since I now have provincial trade power. And we're actually going to sit on, uh, going to take the diplomatic power penalty for a little longer than I wanted to, but I don't want to sit on the overextension longer than I need to either, so. <coughs> Sad day. Now, my plan for Brittany... <coughs> is uh, sending some ships over and occupying Loire and letting France occupy everything else and then hopefully hopefully they'll separate peace out and take Maine and then I can vassalize them or alternatively I can vassalize them in one go but I'm not sure that I can do that and this is bad When can we retreat? 23rd, eh? Oh yeah, this is... This is definitely really bad. Huh. Well, bollocks. That sure did a number on me. That's all right, though. We should still be fine. Just gonna keep building ships and ignoring my loans. In fact, no, I'm not going to take any more. Time to pay for our fleet. We still have enough power projection for a year. So let's go and protect trade in London. Or how much money would this make me? 0.19. Let's see what makes me more money. Right now I'm making 2.85. And if I tell you to protect trade in London, I make...
Ditch the prestige. Two point eight one. So profiteering in Lubeck makes more sense. Aragon will release Sardinia and pay some ducats. Okay. Are you allied to England again? You are fantastic. Okay. Incorporate cannot. Uh, well, considering we're going to get Brittany as a vassal soon, uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to integrate Knopp, but we're not going to start integrating them after, until after they've cored Meath. Otherwise, they'll never core Meath. Um, they might be doing that right now, but you can't see that anymore. So, yeah. We're going to go and defuse this alliance, dissolve it. That will upset them by quite a bit. But they won't join the coalition. Now, I can fabricate another claim on England, since I can't sell this province now anyway, I might might as well just fabricate claims from that situation, so let's see, what do we want, Essex, at least I don't think I can sell that province, can I sell you this? No, of course not, because you're overextended. Alright. Aragon will cede Aragon to Castile, and Naples is a free nation. Now, maybe England wins this war. That could also be a, a possibility. England wins this war and forces Brittany to give back um, their province. Well, that would also be quite nice indeed. No. The morale of armies is nice, but we can't, just can't afford that right now. We can, however, start improving relations with uh, Knot. Seems rather prudent. Next month we can afford a new ship. Now, if I ever get this event... I'm going to get the plus 10 anyway. I think this is better. I'm pretty sure that's better. Oh boy! Oh boy! He wasn't even that old. I didn't even make him into a general. Ugh. First the rebels and now this. Well, 
We'll still be on time for our war with Portugal, but there's not going to be a war with Brittany anytime soon. That's for damn sure. God damn. Right, so cannot finished coring that. That means that Northumbria should be finished rather swiftly. When can I annex you? Pretty soon, right? 1st of December. Right, let's not take any chances. That should be more than enough. And let's improve relations with Northumberland. Man! Oh, God. This is horrible. Let's take this mission. We are not rolling the proper dice today. Well, considering that, there's no <laughs> reason to... Considering that I need to wait four more years... To wage any proper war, or like three years... No. No, we should just integrate Connaught. It's inefficient, but there's no other way. Did we take the mission? Thank God. Right. So, just gonna take another loan, repay that one, and it's time for another ship. Because we need ships, otherwise, we can't fabricate a uh, justified trade conflict. We better not lose this, <laughs> these ones, because that will be catastrophic. And England's going to win this war. Well, I'm pretty sure England's going to win this war. Now we have some more rebels here. Which you can't do anything about. And this province is kind of crap anyway. I'm not going to spend manpower on that. <coughs> we'll just accept the mans. It's fine. You almost finished. You're not. So I think we can get away with fabricating another claim. And I think it's going to be Lincoln. Right off the bat, we got some pretty, pretty bad events happening. I don't know why I, I just totally zoned out there. Got a loan coming. Oh, here. Yeah. Not this. This. Hmm. Well, it's only two years. It's two years' time, so. Should be fine. Is this finished? Next month. There we go. This is now my core. Fantastic. And since we're going to sell most of England's provinces to Northumberland and Cornwall, 
we're going to keep Irish as an accepted culture for quite some time. Um, well, it's not going to help if we keep getting nationalists, but I'm going to go and uh, take that risk. Is this almost finished scoring? It is. So we can go and sell Nemo City to Northumbria. Yeah, there is a minimum amount. Because now it only gave us 0.26, so. And that 0.26 means two more ships. Fantastic. I wish I was part of the Empire. Right. England should win this war. And they should force Brittany to release some stuff. They don't have any claims on them, so they won't ask for anything. But if they win it, and they are... They have some uh, war uh, enthusiasm. Actually, no. There's no way they're going to give provinces back to France. Come on, be real. England hates France. Seoul, Denmark. We can do that. Denmark. You smell. Incorporate Northumberland. Not going to do that. Create an army for our nation. It's our force limit. 15. Oh, we might as well do that. Let's see, how many ships do we have? Eight. They're allied to England again. And our truce is over in two more years. And it takes... It doesn't show me how many days it takes to build that, if you don't have the money for it. So, we're just going to improve relations with Cornwall, since that's the next one we're probably going to be integrating. And uh, that'll be that. I'll ditch the prestige. And I'll ditch some more prestige. Yeah, the Regency Council really busted my balls. Otherwise, I would have taken a loan, got some troops, occupied Loire, and made France do everything else. And Brittany is actually winning this. Oh, God damn. Well, that means England's weak, so... That's a good thing, at least. And together with my vassals, we should easily be able to take the land area. England's still way too strong to do anything on the sea, though. It's kind of upsetting. But... Do we already have a claim on this? Yes, we do. We're going to go claim uh, Gwynedd. Can I claim this? I already claimed this. Right. So, and I forgot to check how many days it takes to build a light ship. My ruler should come of age next year, as well as the truce being over, so... Privateering in Lubeck. I also get two trade power from my merchant, so I might be able to do it with nine ships. That's a close goal, though. 
That definitely is a close call. Let's merge these together. There's no real reason for you to merge them together other than, like, if, suppose you had a, an Admiral, then that would be useful. But There's no real reason except for... Uh, it being more... Uh, you having a better view of the situation. And we have a new king. That's a little earlier than expected. When Stuart III dies, the following will happen. A succession war between France and Castile. Well, he's 15, so he has plenty of years to make plenty of babies. I'm not too afraid of that. We can invest into a cardinal. Just leave it on that and be done with that. We have 11 ships. And if we're not privateering, then we don't have power projection. So we will be wasting quite a few points if we don't have enough ships. Let's wait for the 12th one. Let's wait for the 12th one and then start sending them over. Because we still have a year's time to fabricate this claim anyway. So, yeah. Let's do this. Now, do we get more ships? Just to be safe, we're going to get another ship. I want my naval force limit maxed out before I start actively pursuing <coughs> repaying these loans. When are you finished? 6th of January. Alright. Fair enough. Our manpower is at 50%. Now let's get our merchant, that's the least useful. Let's see here. You're collecting 0.6. And you're collecting 0.32. Well, shucks. Uh, that will change. I'm pretty sure he was collecting more when I still had uh, this. I'm going to transfer trade power, now that's really important, otherwise your trade power gets butchered by the negative modifiers. Well, let's get our ships together. And protect trade in Seville. Is a merchant there? He is. 43.12. Fantastic. You can stop improving relations. And justify a trade conflict. There you go. Now we can set our ships back immediately into Lubeck. But where do we send our merchant? We're still collecting 0.6. And we collected 0.3 from here. 